Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and, and doing everything, ladies, everything we can to hold on to our pretty. It's about getting dressed and looking our very best. Get up, get dressed, and look your very best. And I just want to always acknowledge and recognize and welcome back my returning subscribers. You know I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. All right, ladies, let's get the lips and nails out of the way. All my nails, of course, always. Olive and June. It's a color called HD. And I was just into doing just white. It's spring. Let's do some white. White, white, white. And on my lips is my, my, you know, my love, Pat McGrath. I've used one of her pencils. This is the pencil Allure. Yeah, Allure, you know, it's without the glasses. Lip pencil, and I have on, I put on a blue red. I needed a blue red, and this is the uh, Forbidden Love blue red. This is the one I already have, you know. I'll show it to you again in this box, but I also have it in that black and white case with the Marc Jacobs. So I got two of the same, but this is um, Forbidden Love for you who have not seen her. There she is. It's a matte, matte lipstick that stays on and that is so, so luscious. So, so luscious. <laughs> You're going to love it. And I'm sure a lot of you, you purchased this and, you know, I love it. Put it back now i do um i think that's it i want to show you remember last week let me close this up because i'm anal that way <laughs> i am I, I own up to my analness now uh i ordered something else remember last week i'm getting my thoughts together excuse me excuse me excuse me i showed you carolina herrera and i showed you the uh black and white case and i had gotten the charms and i kept trying to put the charm on well, silly me, I needed this ring. What is it called? It's called the bangle. I ordered the bangle. I went back on the site and ordered the bangle, which is $23. But when you order it from Caroline Herrera's site, you get a free initial. So I got a D. I got me a D. So that's the bangle on my lipstick case and the charm I already had. Remember I had the red heart? Oh my God, how luscious are these? Luscious, luscious, luscious. A D and a heart. And it goes right, let me show you. I kept trying to put something around that, but it just pushes in like that. Like a, like some key rings or something and you can change it. And the lipstick is in there. I wore this to church yesterday. No, today's Tuesday when I'm doing this. Another story I'll have to tell you. I wore this to church Sunday and it's an orange red. And I needed a blue red today, but lovely. It wore well, it was lovely to wear, very nice. So, and that's, that's just a Carolina red, which is that orange red. I'm sure she makes a blue red. I'm not sure what it's called. But I wanted to share that, which is that adorable. So adorable. Now, I also ordered another one. Remember, I showed this one I had in the pink color. I ordered a coral like color. And I, you know, I even tried putting this ring on here, it was annoying as heck. I wouldn't put anything on the top of this for the simple reason that when you have to apply this, you've got to open it like this. And then you've got to try to apply it with all this extra stuff hanging. That is not convenient. But this one, this is a, like a coral color. I think it's called some kind of pink, but these, they didn't, I don't know. I'm not so excited about these, these two. This one was okay. This one went on and it didn't go on even. It blotched and I tried to go over it and it's still. I just, I really wouldn't recommend these. Not in a, And a lot of times I'll get things in a coral color and for some reason they don't act as well as the other colors. I found that with my, um, my Charlotte Tilbury, the, uh, the, the blurs, the orange blur, I'm not sure what the, that one doesn't go on as nicely as the rose blur and the, the, the red blur, whatever color that is. But I don't know. It's a thing with orange, I guess. I don't know. But these are beautiful, too. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I also got another sample bottle. And this time, last time, you know, they gave me very good girl. Smelled pretty good. This, oh, my God. This is called Good Girl Blush. 
and this one is the elixir there's a good girl blush and then there's a good girl just blush with elixir both are you know one has patchouli in it and i have a thing for patchouli and the other one has a lot of vanilla and oh but this one look at her oops <laughs> i've got her on today i've got her on today oh look at me i'm just making a mess smells so good i was in the store i was going to purchase it and i thought let me wait let me wait because i'd rather i was in dillard's i think i want to get it from carolina direct because then i'll get some more samples <laughs> You know, you get all kind of extra stuff when you order directly from from the uh, the buyer, from the designer. But smells wonderful. This I really, really love. When I get the bottle, I'll show you. And and surprisingly, as girly as I am, this high heel shoe is not, it's not the most exciting thing. I don't. The bottle does not excite me. Uh, not that my opinion matters, but I like beautiful jeweled french perfume type bottles of things a gimmicky high heel shoe and the guy in the store there was a guy at the fragrance counter yes he said there are so many that love the bottle and a lot of the young girls do love them i don't need a high heel shoe bottle sitting up there i want beautiful cut glass and creative crystal looking bottles for my cologne you know just something you know but that's me but I, this smells so good that I am going to go for it. There's another fragrance I meant to. There's a new Gucci fragrance that's Gucci. It's pink. It's a box. It's pink. I'm going to check it out because that I, for so long, I haven't bought any fragrances because nothing has excited me. So that's the Carolina. But now I want to show you what else I got from Carolina. And my obsession with the Carolina lipsticks and things will probably die down pretty soon. But until then, you know. Just, you know, cut me some slack. But I ordered, I had ordered this and it took forever to come. I ordered it from Macy's, this little box, Caroline Herrera. You know, I love the red boxes. We love the red boxes. I know, crazy. But this was a little set. I think it was 170 something. But look at that. How precious and beautiful is that? Look at that. And these are the lip balms. There are three lip balms, and you get the case. Of course, you know, you get the Carolina's case. So, again, I don't think I'd put a big ring on this little case. Here's the top, here's the bottom. So, I want to show you the three choices we have. Well, I'll show you. This one is the Carolina Red. This is 007 Carolina, and that's her classic red, the Carolina Red. If I can get the box open. And this is how they come. You get this little holder here, Carolina Red. You take it out. You take. Now, when I saw the lady on the channel do it, I thought she took it out. This is the bottom. Yeah, I think she took that out too. Oh, well, here we go. I'm going to try. I'm going to have to, of course, read, but of course, it fits in here. I don't want to break it off. Oh, it just pops off. Whew, count to 10, Deborah. Count to 10. It's okay. I hate to appear so amateurish on my, on my, well, here we go. Here it is. Then you just put that in there. It snaps in. It clicked right in. And then you can put the top on. And how precious is that? Lovely, lovely, lovely. It would have been great if, <clears throat> excuse me, if they gave you three cases, one for each one, wouldn't it? But I'm sure you can order the mini cases separate. I adore this. So they come in this little thing like this. But let me, um, I want to show you the color. So this is the Carolina Red. Then there is an orange splash. And there's one called Pink Mania. Oh, I'm showing you the box. It's like, yeah, okay, Deborah. So let me just put them on my hand for you. I'll do the Carolina Red. Try to make up a swatch for you. I got stuff on my hand already. So this, it's very sheer. I'm going to have to rub, 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 rub. But that's the red. Forget that little pencil line that was from my lip pencil. But look, it's very sheer. And I love wearing bombs. I don't know about you. I like wearing bombs when I'm in the house. 
I'm not going anywhere that day. I gotta have something on my lips. So that's the red. And this is 005 is the orange. Let's see what she looks like. Hi everyone. Hello everybody. So you can see the orange in the tube. Here it is. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Let's see. I can put orange here. Right up above it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Can you see the difference? I can see the difference. I can see the red. I can see orange. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And they feel very emollient. You know, very, very emollient. Of course, you know, ain't on me. I've got to put, um, I got to put it back in the box. <laughs> And of course, Pink Mania 004. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, look at that pink. Look at that pink. Ooh, ooh. And I think they're sheer, but they're buildable. This one's really sheer. Oh, I love it. So I got some. So, okay. I think I got too much right there. Let me do it a little more for you. Oh, I I broke off a big chunk. I'm messing with my stuff. Oops, I know what I'm doing. I'm hitting my bone in my hand and the gloss. Okay, there we go. We got pink, we got Carolina red, and we got the orange. So they're very sheer. If you just want something sheer, or if you have a, a teenager, that doesn't like lipsticks, but you know, you want to get them something. Great little graduation gift. Great little graduation gift for a little teen. You know, wouldn't that be great? I would love it if I was graduating high school or or eighth grade, middle school, you know, and you get this and then you get this little case. Adorable. I will list this because I know you're going to want to check it out, ladies. Let me get a tissue. But they have that at Macy's, and I don't know if I saw it on the Carolina Herrera site, so get it from Macy's. Oh my God, it wipes off so nicely. That's the moisture in it. It feels so moist, you can see on the tissue. So that's a great one there. That's a great one, you know. So, okay, I, 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 you know, I've been singing. The only other Carolina sounds you're going to hear from me is when I get the cologne. And if the good Lord blesses me and I buy one of her belts, because I want me a Carolina belt. She has so many beautiful ones. So that is what's coming up. So let me sit this out of the way. All right. Topic of the day. You know, I promised you last week that I was going to do some Easter Sunday fashions. And I'm pulling them straight from my closet. I just said, well, let's, you know, go to the closet, pull out some things that I could I would wear to church for Easter and I'm telling you now I won't be wearing anything to church Easter because my husband informed me that we're not going to church Easter because he says he's not going to deal with the crowd <laughs> you know how Easter is always extra people at church and he said do you really want to come and I don't know I might change his mind we might go but he says he likes to go to the Good Friday service so we may do the Good Friday service and not do Easter Sunday but I just love, you know, looking around, but I know it's going to be crowded, but it's fun. So I might change his mind. I might convince him to go Easter Sunday. That'd be fun, right? Won't that be fun? So anyway, I got off subject. I, um, I put together four looks. I went to my closet and just pulled some things. I had to dig up, you know, dig back in the other closet because I have so many winter things still out. So I had to pull out some lightweight spring bring pieces for you to put together and and that's what I want you know you don't always have to go shopping for something new it's Easter and it's it's a Easter for the little kids and all of that but every now and then you know mama likes a new suit for Easter you know that's that's okay I, I'm not judging I'm not here to judge and if you're into hats I don't have any Easter hats because I don't really you know wear a lot of hats as far as Easter bonnets go but you can still just dress up and look nice. So I am going to put together the four looks for you and maybe inspire you to check your closet. And these are pieces you have seen that I have in my wardrobe and I just kind of mix them with something different and some of my favorites. So you can let me know if you've seen it, if you remember them. But I'm going to just put a little Easter twist on them and we're going to 
do our Easter Easter looks for Easter looks to, to inspire you to, to get in your closet and do yours. So ladies, we'll be right back with that. Hey, we might as well start off with a bang, right? Happy Easter, happy me. <laughs> a little red, a little black and white. Always works, ladies. And this is old, old, old. This dress is an old Ann Taylor dress, probably about four years old now. My red jacket, remember from the holidays when I did the Ralph Lauren skirt and top. This is that red Tahari jacket with the fringy tie. Isn't it lovely? And I know it's extra. I got dropping earrings, I got pearl choker, and I got a flower over here. But it's okay, it's Easter. You can be a little extra. And just my black Tory Burch bag because she looks so elegant. And I have on my red velvet shoes. I would say red velvet, the, the color is called red velvet. My 7 or 9 red pumps to kick it off, to finish it up, to complete the look. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Love these shoes, you know I do. Anyway, this is a, a look that probably in your closet. Simple dress, put the blazer on, and I'm ready for Easter Sunday. I am ready for Easter Sunday or the Sunday after that, or dinner or brunch, Easter brunch. You could go to, you know, with this on. It's just a great outfit, a great look, and it's comfortable. And it's just comfortable. Really simple. And you know, you never know how the weather's going to be. If it's still kind of cool that day, I could put one of my wraps, one of my uh, travel wraps from Chico's on around this to uh, have to block off the, the chill. But hopefully, if it's like today, it's like 60, almost 70 degrees out now. But we don't know what March, what is it, the 30th or whenever Easter is, what it'll be like. But hey, we'll be ready, right, ladies? Lovely, lovely. Check it out. <laughs> I love it. I love this black, red, and white. You know, it always works. And this dress is just a big, loose, polka dot, fun dress. And I've never worn it. It still has the tag on it. But I caught it on sale, you know, walking through Ann Taylor's and finding a good sale, walking through anywhere and finding a good sale. We love that, don't we, ladies? And I was able to pull out my Michelle watch, my favorite. <laughs> Watch I wear it. I'm more, I don't wear much in the winter, but the white I love with the red, little red dot up there. I digress. But this is the look. This is our look for one such Easter Sunday style. So I think I'm gonna put put another, I'm trying to think my next look, what I'm gonna put on for you. But I want to keep it, I, and notice, I want you to notice, take note, there are no pants in these four looks. I did all skirts. You know, I wear pants so much. So I did all skirts, and this is the only dress. I need more dresses. You know, I've got some summer dresses, but dresses are hard. I only want a long dress. I don't want any above the knees and short dresses. I want long dresses, so if I can find some more this summer, I will get some more. But until then, I got these dresses. Until then, I want you to check your closet, put together your Easter outfit. Unless you're going shopping, that's fine too. But I'm not going shopping for Easter. I don't go shopping for it later on. But Easter, I, you have, if you're a mature woman like me, you've got something to wear for Easter Sunday. Just to mix and match a suit up. Change it up and make a new look. Even if you've worn to church before, wear it a little different or add an extra pen or flower on it to, to really change the look and, and you know they said oh she, she looks so Sis, sister Barry got on that okay did you see sister Barry <laughs> you know how we do I know how you do it I know how I do it in church I'm looking some of them I'm giving them that side eye others I'm like wow look at that and you see all kind of fashions come through my church from sparkly silver sequin boots you know, to the to prettiest shoes that some of the women have such great shoes. I thought, oh, I want those shoes, you know. And some can wear the heels that I can't wear, and I said, oh, how nice. Anyway, I am just babbling, babbling. Let's get ready for the next look, okay? Be back. In a flash. It's Easter Sunday. Put a little pink in the mix. Add a little black, and you're good to go. 
You are good to go. Pearls, print, black. And this jacket, I know you've seen it a thousand times. This is my, I call it like a walking coat from Brooks Brothers that is held at brocade. It's just, if you could feel it, it's all raised and just, just beautiful with the black and the teal and the blue and the yellow. <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just put on, actually, now I think about it, this is a Brooks Brothers skirt I've had. It's lightweight, it's black, it's really a summer weight skirt. But I thought, I always put this with off-white for some reason, or with skinny black pants or anything. So I thought I'd do it with a black skirt to show you this time. This, of course, has been in my closet for a long time. Can still carry Tory Burch because it's a dressy type of black bag. You know I told you I need me a pink bag. I need a pink bag, this color pink. I'm looking. I'm looking. I know Kate Spade probably has one. I'm going to find one and, and add that to my wardrobe this summer, for real. And I just put on my last year's ink shoes, my favorite INC shoes, international, whatever, from Macy's, with the little zip in the back, the nail heads. I have the white, I have the tan, and I have these. And the next two looks are going to include the white and the tan to give you a little hint of what I'm putting on. But these shoes, so comfortable. I don't wear them with any pantyhose because they would be too, your foot would be slipping and sliding. Just wear them regular, put them on, and they stay. And your foot is comfortable. It's not like it's up, up. You know what I mean? It's just a comfortable, comfortable shoe. But I wanted to, uh, if you didn't want to do the belt with this, you know, I could always take the belt off and just wear it. I can always take the belt off and get it out of the hole. But you know, I don't have to put the belt on with it. You, know, you can do a look without the belt. Or I could have done a chain belt. I have a pink belt, blush colored belt. But it's nice just if you didn't want to belt it to just wear it like this. Unsnap another snap like that and just wear it. And all I have under here is like a knit top from Ann Taylor. It's kind of boat knit, really lightweight. But again, you don't know what Easter's going to be like, what the weather's going to be like. So this is very lightweight. If it's a nice day, this will be perfect. And when the sun comes out, just shines on you, and you got all these colors, even with the black, it'll look fantastic. So what's in your closet? What's in your closet, ladies? A nice little walking coat. You know I love, I'll buy all walking coats. I see them. Get that walking coat in length. You can put it with so much and blend it with so much and with pants, with a casual look, a dressy look. This I love, love, love. It's lined, it's nice. So, what's in your closet that you could put together for Easter and not have to spend a dime? You know, no extras going out. Because that's pressure. That's pressure going out looking for this. I tell you, it really is. And if you can go to your closet and put a look together and look just, and you know, you, your pocketbook feels better, you feel good, you wore it, you're in church for a couple of hours or so, you're taking pictures and happy and greeting. So, you can do it, ladies. So, here's my look number two. A little pink, a little black, a little multicolor, all ready for Easter Sunday. So, next I'm going to go lighter. I'm going to go a little lighter tones for you. I did the blacks. So then we're gonna go with the lighter shades for you. I'll be right back with those. A little brighter, a little lighter. We've got white, off-white, and a red-orange playing up here. Again, I would have, now the Carolina red lips would have gone perfect because they're an orange-red. I would have worn that with this skirt like I would have worn pink with the other, with the jacket. But for all purposes right now, we just didn't change lips because it's too much pulling all that red off and putting it back on. So just, you know, ignore that part. Or, you know, or not. You might want to wear the red with all the others. You can do it. I got on, I didn't even say last time I had on my Tory Burch Pearl Drop Earrings. Love these ladies. You need to get a pair of these. They come in gold too, and I think I'm going to get the gold pair. Just like the $98, but they're worth it. They go with so much. And a simple, I think this is Anna Louisa, little pearl drop necklace. Simple with this. 
flower pin always works. Dress to put on on for Easter. I put one of my headbands on just trying to be extra. <laughs> you know I can be extra. And I added the Michael Kors chain belt just for something different because sometimes you want to belt a jacket and just, you know, hook it up. And this is the, I got this from Dillich about maybe almost three summers or springs ago. I think it's a Calvin Klein. Feels so good. It's really nice. Just, just excellent. An old Ann Taylor skirt. When Ann Taylor was really, you know, doing Ann. <laughs> Teddy Blake. She's always a winner. Teddy Blake, my white Teddy Blake. Look at her. Look at her. All this Teddy Blake's uh, link down below. Ladies, you need a nice white bag. Feet and all. Just beautiful, beautiful. And this is one of my favorite ones that I love. I like all my table blades, but this is one I really like. And of course, I'm ready for Easter Sunday. I'm bright. If it's a beautiful sunny day, even if it's not, you want to at least look like Easter and look like the sunshine. And bring it. Bring the sunshine if there isn't any. So happy Easter. Strut this out. Like I said, brunch, lunch with the girls, or just, you know, going to church, having a wonderful day at church. Look at this. Oh, and on my feet, just like the um, black ones I just had on, or the ink in white. Love the white ones. Look at there. I get so much wear out of these for the white to go. They go with so much stuff in my wardrobe, and they're comfortable. Wear them without holes, and your feet will kind of stick to the part a little bit so it's not sliding. You know what I mean, ladies. If you've worn shoes, they fit better without the hosiery. The foot sliding and then it causes things to rub and you get little calluses, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is the look. Easter Sunday dress up time. Easter Sunday, dig in your closet, create a look, stick a flower on it, dress it up. More so for Easter and you're good to go. And you can uh, walk down the avenue. And you'll find that you're in the road to review. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet, which I have not. But you know, you could be in the Easter parade just with this. Hey, just with this. But now they're coming up. Another lightweight. I kept it light. Um, and I will, um, <laughs> I should cut this, right? Because my mind just went totally blank. Anyway, I want to thank you for spending time with me, taking time out of your day each week to, to look and see what is Deborah Berry up to. And, and I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to thank you. Remember, I'm here every Thursday just for you, every Thursday. And we are getting into springtime and lighter clothes. And I, I hope you guys took advantage of our friends and family at Banana Republic because Ms. Berry bought a few pieces. I did. I said I wasn't, but I did. I'm going to share those with you next week. A lot of linen pieces, a lot of lightweight, beautiful, just comfortable pieces that will go into the summer months. So I'll share those with you next week. But right now, 40% off at Banana Republic, friends and family. Check it out. I don't know how long it's going on, but I won't show that other till next week. So check it out now. Anyway, I'll be right back with the finale. Thank you. She is ready for Easter Sunday, okay? Finale, the lady in cream and, and tones. And I, t I wanted to show you how you could take a casual kind of sporty blazer, dress it up and take it to church for Sunday. Again, with the flower, it adds a little bit of pizzazz. I put the Bottega dupes, the Amazon dupes on here. With these, these things are so big, I don't wear them a lot. They're just obnoxious, but they work. We're going for over the top glam for Easter, you know. And my necklace from Dillard's that I love. Tori Birch, the gold bell I got for Valentine's Day. Look at her, she's beautiful. And an old Tori Birch bag, one of the older ones. It's, you know, show you again, timeless, in style. And you all remember this skirt. I got it at Anthropology last year. Some of you were able to get it. It's a heavier weight. It's great for the springtime season with the lining. And I put on a third pair of the INC shoes. 
in the tan color. Pull some of the stripes in his jacket with those. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, 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 yes. These shoes, I wish they had come in red, pink. I wouldn't care. I'd have all colors. I hope they will do them again this year. That's a good, good shoe. Comfortable and easy to wear. And it was affordable. But again, back to my Easter Sunday look. Look at this, you know. I mean, you could put a hat on with something like this. A simple hat. Though I'm not into church hats. And that, you know, you see a few at church, but not a lot. This works for me. I feel like I am ready. I, I just dressed for Sunday service, dressed for Sunday brunch after church, or just brunch with the girls Easter afternoon. And we're going to go someplace fancy to one of the hotels or something to eat, you know. Again, it's a simple look. Everything out of my closet. There was nothing new. I think the newest might have been the Tory Burch earrings and this belt because those were purchased for near Valentine's Day. Everything else, tried and true, been there, got it, it's in my wardrobe, check your wardrobe, create your own Easter outfit. And be, be glamorous, you know, Easter, go over a little bit, do a little extra with your accessories, and a flower pen always does it. Just, you know, and I found this one at Dillard to the clearance table. When I can find these big ones, it's nice. Amazon has some, they're small, like that red one I had on. But when you can find a big one, I think Etsy may have some. I don't buy from Etsy too much because I don't trust those vendors when it comes to returns. My husband did, got, some. I don't even want to go into that story. We're talking about positive things and happy Easter and God bless the child, right? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video this week. I had fun doing it. I thought I'd come downstairs and have a little different scenery for you. The sun kept messing with the light for me, but we made it through. We made it through and we always do. And of course, I'm out of breath because I'm not breathing. I'm talking and talking and I'm hungry. <laughs> so ladies, dig in your closet, create your Easter outfits, come up with something fantastic to wear to church Sunday or to a brunch or to dinner. I know we'll probably go. We're invited to dinner at his sister's house his sister-in-law's house and I'll probably have on some khaki pants and a t-shirt and some uh, flat loafers just something comfortable but enjoy your Easter I wish you a beautiful happy Easter we got time we got you got I didn't want to do this too close to Easter and you go oh I'm gonna run out and get something so I wanted to do it in time for you to go and get your Easter frocks or to start thinking now because you may just need to add a, a pen or a flower pen or a, a pair of earrings or just a top or a belt. You know, you may just need to add one thing. You've got everything in your closet, especially if you're watching this channel and you've been paying attention. You got it. You got this. You got this. All right. I appreciate you spending time with me. I appreciate all the love you send me. I appreciate you standing by me even when sometimes my videos are like, oh. But that's, that's life. Every day can't be out of the park, you know, over the wall. But every day is a blessing. Remember, you woke up, you've been blessed, and you know, you've been favored. So, whatever you do, remember to leave a little kindness everywhere you go. And I'll be back next week to some more fashions with you. I got a lot of uh, neutrals to show you, so that's why I tried to put some color in this one, because we're going neutral, because Deborah really loves neutral. I would buy neutral first, 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 all the time. How about you? Anyway, I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me. Until next week, I love you. Did I say that? I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.